Welcome to the Corduroy. Here we are in Gooderham, Ontario. This is the 68th Corduroy Enduro. Everyone in the Ontario off-road scene and Canada and a lot of North America knows about this race. This is the big one. This is what we've all been waiting for and it's going to be a good one. It's cold outside, but not too cold. Uh, there's not too much rain. Nothing like the chaos that was last year, at least not yet. And there's a lot of new tests, a lot of new um, adventures in store for us. So let's get out there. I'm going to try and walk you through the whole experience here. And I'm shooting it all on a brand new GoPro 11. So that'll be pretty fun as well to see what this new camera is capable of. I've just parked and I'm set up pretty well here over by the first test and demo track, which is right behind us. It's not all that busy right now, but come this evening, it is going to be packed. There's going to be cars and trailers everywhere. We're over on the sawmill area and lots of people already here. Experienced riders who know the drill, get here early and get yourself set up so that you can get a good spot. On the way to watch the start of the e-bike race, should be a good one. It's going to be electric. There he is. Look who it is. Woo! The man. I'm in the... Where's the bike race? Oh, where's the bike race? It's starting over there. It's the Friday Vintage Class. They're just about ready to go. For the first time in court history, they're going to be running e-bikes. And I'm here with Charlie. Charlie's going to tell us about the Surons. Okay, what do we got here, Charlie? Uh, here we got the Storm B. This is the uh, dirt bike version. Yeah, full-size uh, electric bike. Wow. Does it wheelie? Yeah, that thing can wheelie. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we can. Yeah, I'll stand up on it. And what I'll are you? Stand up on its end. You're running in uh, the e-bike race this morning. What are you running? Yeah, we're running the e-bike light. Okay, so this one right here. Is this the actual bike you're running? Yeah, that's the Light B X. Oh wow, look at this thing. Oh, it's pretty neat. What kind of uh, distance can you get out of a bike uh, like this? They say about 100 kilometers on a medium, but I've done a two and a half hour trail ride on it. It's more than capable as well. The suspension holds up pretty good. So I'm looking forward to doing the 18K loop today. 18K, so do you know how many racers you're up against? Uh, I think there's eight in our class, I think. And then there's about six in the uh, e-bike uh, open class. And what does a bike like this go for? Uh, six, 5,900 plus the taxes. Good luck, man. Oh. They are away. 
people keep meaning. Look who I'm here <laughs> with, the <laughs> one and only <laughs> Alan Racer. Oh, in full race car. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah what are yeah. we riding here, Alan? Uh, this is a Husqvarna Mountain Cross. Uh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's so the one I ride. want. That's the one you, hey, hey and you're in okay, luck. Okay, look, I'll trade you. I'll, I'll <laughs> luck, that's the one we have. Is it? <laughs> they rode the court back in those years. So it's kind of neat to see. Well, we've got our Eden Mountain Bikes, some familiar names among this group, including uh, Paul Kingsley. Go, Vanessa! Woo! All right, I'm here with Owen, who's just come back from his second tour of duty at six days. Yeah. So tell me about that. Tell me about a six days experience. Um, what it's what it's like for the first time and what you went into it the second time. Yeah, man, for sure. Uh, the first time I went, I was riding junior. I was only 17 years old, so I was pretty green, but uh, I finished. I didn't lose any time, and I had a ton of fun. Uh, this year, I kind of focused on, you know, fighting into the into the higher ranks, so I'm trying to get some better times out there. Um, what was the biggest eye-opener when you were there? Just how fast the Euro guys are, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think my best test of the week was 52nd overall. And I think Joseph beat me by like 38 seconds. Oh my god! Test or something. So right. We all think we're fast until we see the top yeah, dogs, man. right? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a different world over there. Yeah, this guy's haul. And you guys did really uh, really well this year, but you were short-handed, right? Yeah, unfortunately, Tyler, uh, one of our best guys, he broke his hand racing pro moto leading up to the event so he had to pull out a little bit early and then uh, we had a time penalty after that so nice. so here we are at the quarter what are you running for a court i'm gonna be riding an ex 350f uh that's what i'm riding back home actually so uh brought my suspension set of handlebars and uh ready to go and have some fun all right good luck man yeah thanks man what's that ride you have there shane <laughs> Saturday morning, Corduroy at 7.03, and we are about to get ready to race. I'm on line seven, so I've already dropped off my gas. Uh, the trailers weren't marked quite yet, but as soon as they are, I'll throw it on the respective trailer. And this is where we're parked over here. We got a really nice spot. We ended up uh, getting right beside this little structure. All our tents set up. Here we go, about to start. Here with Daryl. Uh, good morning. Daryl, what class are you running today? Um, I'm running Vet 55. It's, and uh, you, it's a pretty packed uh, class today. And this year is already a corduroy log owner. Third place that, last that year. That third place last year. It's gonna be a little tougher this year, but that's okay. You know, I'm for the challenge. I'm gonna ride my ride and do the best I can. And that's all you can hope. All right, man, but, good uh, luck. Best of luck to everybody, man. Tony, running for the first time in Red Plate. Yeah, Vet Expert. Okay, it's big boy race. Of course. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. A little worried about the water, but I think they got all that resolved with building a new bridge. So got some be spare good. plugs. Spare plugs, wrenches. I'm good. All right, man. Good, good luck. Yeah. How Thanks, you man. feeling, buddy? I'm doing good, man. Yeah. Honestly. All ready to go? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. It's cold, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's good. Well, you'll be the best looking guy out there. Look at that <laughs> FXR gear. Try it, man. Oh yeah. You got the little neck warmer here too. Hey, Daryl. Take care, man. Thanks, Lucas. Take care, man. Hey, good luck, Paul. Yeah, you too. Yeah. I'm testing out to see which part is better because it's uh, slicky slick. The sun needs to burn this mist off. Definitely. I think it's happening. Good luck, Regan. Good luck, man.
okay. Oh, <laughs> 
I was saying to Jeff, it's so different than it was a few years ago because it's so rough now. Like everything's exposed. Yeah, 5K and then greens and we're done. Mm-hmm. 
Sedgwick's is a MX track style gravel pit. It's a lot of fun. It's about a five minute test of just full pin as fast as you can go. One of my favorites. The Burnt River Crossing, as you saw, there's a few bikes watered out. And uh, yeah, it's very much the cord. Yeah. 